Action. So right here, we're gonna go. Over, we're gonna go ahead and go over C. C is the entire trailer, everything from the bulkhead all the way to the rear, so the doors. So starting up here, the bulkhead is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, and all the rivets are present. Over there, up top on the corner, you got a clearance light, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, clean and clear, amber and color, has no functions. So we start moving back, and we start talking about our DLT tape. DLT tape is properly mounted and secured, clean and clear. It has to be at least 50% coverage of the entire trailer. Right here we got our landing gear. Our landing gear is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Two details about this landing gear. The foot, which is right here, is fully raised, and the crank is resting in the crank. Moving further back, these rivets right here, they all mean something. You look underneath each one, you find cross members. Cross members are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. On top of said cross members, you have trailer frame. The trailer frame is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, no legal welds. Moving along, we got our indicator light. Indicator light is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Clean and clear, amber in color. This indicator light has three functions. It is a running light, turn signal, and a four-way flash. You see these airlines? We gotta talk about them as well. These airlines are properly mounted and secured. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. And they have proper clearance from the ground, so they're not dragging. Okay. So these these airlines, they have that slack for a reason. This tandem axle right here, the set of axles is called tandem axle. This tandem axle is meant to slide all the way back. Okay. So what holds the this tandem axle in place? You have locking pins under here. Okay. Locking pins, properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. You have one right here, and then you have one on the other axle back here. Okay. What unlocks those said locking pins? Well, you got your tandem release button right here. Properly mounted and secured, and that crack pin are broken. It is in the lock position, okay? Here's where it gets repetitive. We go again, we go over again the suspension and the brakes. Suspension on the trailer is only four components. So those four components, we got our lone shock absorber here in the middle, properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, no leaks. Then we got our two airbags, one on this side, one on the other side. Properly mounted and secured, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, no leaks. Behind here, in between the brake chamber and the tire, you got a torque arm and a torque arm mount. Both of those are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Okay, and those are the four components. The shock absorber, airbag, torque arm, torque arm mount. All right, then we'll move on to brakes. Brakes is the same as A and B. Brakes, right here you got your airlines, properly mounted and secured, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, no leaks. What do those airlines lead to? Brake chamber and clamp. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, no leaks. So behind there, you have your push rod and your slack adjuster. Both of those are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. The detail you have to tell me about the push rod. When the brakes are released, no more than one inch play on the push rod. Okay. Behind the wheel here, you can see it on the other side. You got your brake drum. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. It rides on the brake drum or the brake lining or brake material. Properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. Free from oil and grease. Has to be minimum quarter inch thick or one fourth. And that'll be it for brakes. Coming back out to the tires. Yeah. We gotta talk about this butt space in here, okay? This butt space, make sure that it's free from debris and even all the way around. Then we go ahead and talk about our tires. 
Tire is properly mounted and secured and all abrasions, bulges, or cuts, no leaks. Same three details. The face is evenly worn. Tread depth has to be 230 seconds back here. Check it with a feeler gauge or a tread depth gauge. And this tire can be a recap. Yes, it can. Okay. Moving on to our rim or wheel. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. No legal welds. And we got our lug nuts. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Free from rust and shiny spots. Then we got another hub seal back here. Hub seal. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. No leaks. Okay. And this right here, attached to the valve stems, is what's called a continuous air supply. Continuous air supply is properly mounted and secured. No abrasions, bolts, or cuts, no leaks. You got to talk about that? Yes, we do. It is continuously supplying air to these tires, and it should read between 95 to 105 or 100 PSI. Okay? Continuous air supply. Whatever I did on this axle, I will do to this one. Okay? Moving on. <clears throat> Mud flap. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, but... I'm sorry, properly mounted and secured, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Cannot be more than eight inches off the ground. <clears throat> ABS light, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, clean and clear, amber in color. Running light, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, clean and clear, red in color. Has no functions, just running light. Finally at the rear. That's part. Starting from the top, working our way down. Running lights on top, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, clean and clear, red in color. Coming down, we got our door and our door latch. Both of them are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. The door is in the latch or lock position. Okay. Then we got our tail lights. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Clean and clear, red in color. We got four functions. It's a running light, turn signal, four-way flasher, and a brake light. So got another light to talk about. License plate light. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Clean and clear. And last but not least, we got our DLT bumper. DLT bumper is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, and has to be 100% coverage in DLT tape. Not being perceived.